Have you ever wanted something just because it seemed rare or hard to get? That's the scarcity principle at work, a powerful force in human psychology and marketing. It's the idea that items and opportunities become more desirable the less available they are. The Lure of Limited Editions Imagine a limited edition sneaker drop. The lines are around the block, not just because the shoes are stylish, but because they're scarce. When we know something won't last, we want it more. It's not just sneakers, it's concert tickets, collectible items, even time with people we admire. Scarcity makes us assign greater value to what's in short supply. Scarcity in daily decisions. This principle doesn't just apply to buying things. It's in the limited time offer for a course that might improve your career, or the only a few spots left at a popular gym class. It's a nudge, pushing us to act now rather than later. But why does it work? The psychology behind scarcity. Scarcity triggers a fear of missing out, known as FOMO. It's a survival instinct. Our ancestors needed to grab scarce resources to survive. Today, that translates into a rush to purchase or sign up. It also creates a sense of urgency, making us act impulsively, often bypassing rational decision-making. The flip side, artificial scarcity. But beware, sometimes scarcity is artificial. It's a tactic to drive demand. Ever noticed how some sales are once in a lifetime yet seem to happen often? That's artificial scarcity. It's important to recognize when you're being manipulated by marketing strategies. Harnessing scarcity for self-improvement. So, how can we use the scarcity principle for self-improvement? Set personal limits. Create limited editions of your time for hobbies, learning, and personal goals. By making your time and resources scarce, you value them more and use them wisely. Scarcity, a double-edged sword. The scarcity principle is a double-edged sword. It can lead to valuable acquisitions and motivate self-improvement, but it can also trigger irrational decisions. Understand it, recognize it in action, and use it to your advantage, not your detriment. Remember, sometimes the most valuable things are those we can't have in abundance. Use scarcity to prioritize what truly matters.